What's going on guys? Listen, I'm not your ordinary guy. No, I'm your motivation guy. I'm here to motivate you, to inspire you to be great. Not only in this game, but also in life. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. You know, many people have told me over the years that I wasn't going to be able to do certain things. And I was always trying to prove myself to certain people. But once I understood that, you know what? I have to believe in myself first. And if I believe in myself first, then I know I can get through this. I know I can do it. And I'm doing things today that people told me that I wasn't going to be able to do. And I want to encourage you, stop trying to prove yourself to everybody else. Believe in yourself. And I promise you, you're going to be able to do things that you never thought you were going to be able to do. So lately, you guys have been bombarding us on Discord with questions about how to improve your aim, building, editing, and all that stuff. And you know what, I totally get it because I know you probably tune into your favorite streamer and just marvel at how they can hit every single shot after a lightning quick edit through like five bill pieces. How do they do that? Well, the truth is this, they probably have some sort of warm up routine that they do every single day. Having a warm up routine is so crucial, not only for the immediate results, but also as a way to steadily improve over time. But the problem is, is that many of us neglect to warm up or we just don't even know how to do it properly. So today, let's go over a simple, quick and efficient warm up routine anybody can do, whether you play on console, PC or mobile. You guys ready for that? But before we start all of that, I'm curious, do you currently have a warm up routine? If so, leave a comment telling us what it is. I'm sure a lot of people want to know. And if you guys are looking for a mentor, a coach, or somebody to help you advance to the next level, whether it be your aiming, mechanics, building, Pro Guides has you guys covered. New to our site is exclusive live stream classes that you do not want to miss. Plus, our weekly free courses are back. For that and a whole lot more, click the link in the description and sign up today. All right, guys, it's about that time. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. <clears throat> I got some exciting news to share. Without the Pro Guys community supporting us, nothing we do would be possible. I mean, you guys are the heart and soul of Pro Guys. And because of that, we want to do something to give something back to the Pro Guys community. So we're going to be giving away 4,000 Pro Guys points. Yeah, I said 4,000 Pro Guys points, man. That's the equivalent of $40. Using these points, you can unlock coaching sessions with our pros. But it doesn't just stop there because we're also going to be giving away a whole year of access to the pro membership subscription this is going to give you guys full access to every single course unlimited chats with coaching 24 7 live pro coaching sessions and a further 10 percent off any other coaching purchases you make okay so the question is how do you win this bounty of pro guides goodies right now you have to subscribe to our Fortnite YouTube channel and turn notifications on. You got to join our community subreddit as a member and then join our community Discord server and react to the post by the Pro Guys giveaway bot in the giveaways channel. We're going to be doing two of these giveaways, guys, every single month. So don't forget to join the Discord server so you guys don't miss out on any future giveaways. All right, so the first thing we're going to be warming up is our editing and techniques. Our favorite way to do this is to load up Raider 464's box fight practice. Okay, so this map is jam packed with all sorts of practical setups. Perfect for anybody trying to improve their editing. So once you load into the map, start the game and pick a standard loadout. The first area, my friends, we're going to hit up is to the right, the Mongrel Classic section. You probably already know what the Mongrel Classic is, but in case you don't, here's how you do it. First things first, you pickaxe the wall and replace it with your own. Then edit the wall open and immediately place some stairs inside the box. Once you have it placed, edit the left side of the stairs towards you and follow up with the pump shot on the target. The whole purpose behind the Mongrel Classic, guys, is to establish peace control and give you an opportune angle to shoot your opponent. However, we recommend you alternate you know, between stairs and cones. The advantage with cones is that you typically don't have to follow up with an edit, making it so you can just get the kill much more quickly. And since the two methods are plenty useful, you should definitely practice them both. Once you're done with the Mongrel Classics, your next section is right behind you, the Cone Floor Replace. All right, this is pretty self-explanatory. All you gotta do is replace the cone, edit, then take the floor and edit that for the kill. So guys, repeat this for every cone and floor you see. And for the sake of practice, try to switch up how you edit each piece. So maybe edit the left corner for one, then two for the other. You get the idea, right? 
But right after the cone floor section are five long ramps with a bunch of wooden pieces already built. This is where you're going to practice your double and triple edits. In terms of difficulty, the most straightforward edits are on the left, and it gets progressively harder as you move right. So doing all of these courses is going to take a while. So really, you know, one or two should be sufficient. Now, the timing behind these edits is something a lot of us struggle with. Who struggles with the timing? Come on, let's be real. So if you're having trouble, our advice is to take it slow. All right. By doing that, you're going to gain better understanding of the timing and keep presses involved. And once you start to get into the rhythm, that's when it gets fun. And that's when you can start to speed things up. Finally, the last section for this, you know, look for a tall metal structure near the center tilted side jump shots. Side jumps are actually a very underrated technique. Basically, you can use them anytime someone's trying to break into the top of your box for a quick unexpected shotgun hit. The required timing is pretty tight, but this spot here is gonna help you train you. All you do is edit the wooden walls that are set up, then jump out and up, shotgun the target, place a wall, and catch yourself with the floor. All in all, man, these four sections should take only five or 10 minutes to fully complete, while at the same time, giving you an ideal warm-up for edits and techniques you guys can use in real games. All right, guys, so the next thing you're going to do as part of this warm-up routine is at least 10 minutes of free building. Yeah, 10 minutes. You're fine doing this on any regular old creative island. But if you want a few extra nifty features, you can use the Crank Simulator by Immature Gamer. But anyway, what is free building? Good question. Well, as the name implies, you're sort of just supposed to just build an edit. That's really it. There's really no structure or set patterns you have to follow here. Instead, it's more about getting your blood flowing. You get me? And just getting used to things like the building grid, timing, and pressing the right key binds. Now, I get that there are a ton of different building techniques, all right? And it's not like you can include every single one in your warm-up. Really, the only absolutely essential one that you have to practice, guys, in this routine is tunneling. So there are a ton of different ways to tunnel, and you can find a full guide on our website. But the two we're going to be practicing are the full tunnel and the three-piece tunnel. So to do the full tunnel, you start by turbo building two floors ahead of you, one above and one below you. Once you step into the floor, turbo build a wall in front, to the left, and to the right of you. Finally, edit through the wall in front of you and repeat the tunnel. Ideally, you want to keep going until you can do these flawlessly at full speed. But if you can't, don't worry about it just yet. You know, just keep grinding, keep going, don't give up. On the other hand, the three-piece tunnel has you start with only one floor. Once you step on it, look to the left or right, whichever side you're closest to, and just turbo build a wall and ramp in that order. This is one of the more game-changing, cost-efficient tunnels you need to know. However, the timing on placing those pieces can be a bit finicky, which is why we recommend including it in your warm-up. All in all, don't worry too much about learning or covering specific techniques here. The most important aspect, like we said, is just to get you used to building. Let your mind flow free. You know, do what you do, and the results are going to follow. You don't have to overthink it. Just let it out. But moving on, lastly, we've got the most critical aspect of your warm-up, aim training. So, to improve your aim, we're going to be using the latest version of Don Wozzi's top-notch creation, Skavak Aim Trainer. Once you load into the map, start the game and select an AR, shotgun, and SMG off the wall. Then, if you look behind you, you're going to see all these buttons that take you to different courses. There are 15 in total, but for the purpose of a quick and efficient warm-up, we're only going to focus on four. So to work on our tracking, we're first going to be moving targets. All right, shoot the button to go in, look up, and you're going to see some options, all right? Shoot the close range and 100 HP buttons to begin. Then using your SMG, try to shoot down as many zombies as you can. I suggest switching between hip fire and aiming down sights just so you can get used to both styles. Once the timer on your screen runs out, shoot the reset button at the bottom, switch to long range, then hit the HP button to start again. This time, you're going to be working on your rifle aim. These zombies are quite forgiving in size, so a good piece of advice is just to aim for the head. It's going to provide a bit more of a challenge and overall, it's going to help your aim more precise. But once you're done here, shoot, reset, and head back to the lobby. Next, we're going to be working on our shotgun flicks inside stationary FS. 
in here, and I mean like right here, you're going to notice all these holes in the wall. Once you start the course, targets are going to fly out at random. And for your first run, I want you to flick and shoot as quickly as possible. Don't worry about missing, all right? All we're trying to do here is just work on your flick speed. But once the timer runs out, do a second run, and this time, take your time with each shot. Aim down sights before firing too, all right? And try to hit as many targets as you can. After that run, reset, head back to the lobby, and select Bounce 360. This one is sort of a mixed bag where you can practice both your tracking and flicking. Plus, it is very helpful for just teaching how to swap targets quickly. In this room, try using all your weapons, all right? For example, if a zombie gets close, just blast them with your shot or your SMG. And if they're far, use your assault rifle. But no matter what gun you use, spend at least two or three minutes in here before moving on. Next up, guys, to help you with your crosshair placement, you're gonna have to hit up the Tifu Classic room. If you don't know what the Tifu Classic is, all right, it's a technique where you jump from high ground, shotgun the player below you, and immediately catch yourself with the floor. In this room, I wouldn't really worry about the timer too much. Instead, try to just finish off every target. Once you finish, repeat it once if you like, and then you're done. Reset and go back to the lobby. Finally, the last room we're going to be visiting is Richie Toon's Bouncy Bots. In here, and I mean like right here, you're gonna be working on your box fight edits. There'll be these three wooden walls with jumping zombies behind them, and all you need to do is edit and shotgun them. You can do whatever edits you want, but it's best just to practice proper box fighting technique. So focus on right hand edit piece, and every time you shoot, put out your wall, reset the edit, and hold down turbo build. This is what you typically do in an actual box fight to prevent your opponent taking the wall, right? And even though these zombies don't attack back, it's still worth practicing. Anyways, this concludes the aim portion of this routine. I just wanna note that you may experience some bugs here, like sometimes the zombies won't spawn. If that's ever the case, just go back to the creative hub and reload the map on another portal to fix it. Also, we're saying to spend only 10 minutes aim training, but that's more of a minimum amount of time. If you're really looking to grind your aim like a maniac, it's not a bad idea to spend upwards of 30 minutes to an hour here. Just make sure to set goals for yourself, guys, such as getting a new high score, just so that you always have something to work toward. All right, to recap, here's the daily warm-up routine we've set up for you guys. Here we go. First, do five to 10 minutes of Raiders box fight practice map. We suggest doing the four sections we went over, but if you want, you can switch it up and do whatever floats your boat, all right? The most important part is really just to spend time here every day before you hop into arenas or scrims. That way, your edits are gonna be faster, smoother, and way more reliable. After that, hop into a creative island or into the crank simulator and perform 10 minutes of free building. Super important, man. You're gonna be taking stuff that you practice on Raiders course and just mix it with whatever sort of builds your mind can just come up with. Specifics aren't really too important here, but just be sure to go over any techniques that you think that you're gonna use in real match. Lastly, finish your warm up with at least 10 minutes of aim training. So we've outlined the courses on Don Wozzy's map we think that are most beneficial for you guys. But feel free to try them all out and just pick the ones that you think are gonna help you the most. Of course, you could spend more time in each of these sections, but that's totally up to you. What's really crucial, my friends, is really just setting up a routine. Okay, try to get yourself into the habit of doing this or any other warm up every single time you log on. I know, I, you know, I know we just want to jump in and, and, and just, you know, battle. I, I get it. But this is the foundation that we really need to improve. And that way, you know, you're always playing at your best. You're always improving and you're going to see the better results. I promise you. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Guys, keep going, be inspired, all right? Never give up on your dreams, never surrender. You can do it. Stop trying to prove everybody else wrong. All you have to do is just prove to yourself and you can do it. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the warm-up routine, help the video out by liking it, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment on what you like to see next. I'll see you soon. Peace.